Hey guys, it's time for another Snapshots from the Bible. I'm sorry, fashion tips from the Bible. Yes, of course, uh, everybody comes to me week after week and saying, Pastor Justin, can we have some more fashion tips? You are often so fashionable, and I know you get everything from the Bible. Uh, no, I, I used to be when I was a kid, my mom would dress me, now my wife dresses me. I'm That's, that's how it should go, right? Uh, so actually, we are going to look at something about fashion today but not to look good, to be practical. We're looking at Numbers uh, 15. Yeah, the book of Numbers, that book you don't go into because you're afraid it's a whole lot of math. Uh, Numbers 15, starting with verse uh, 37, has this passage. The Lord then went up to Moses and said, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, Throughout the generations to come, you are to make tassels on the corners of your garments with a blue cord on each tassel. You will have these tassels to look at so that you will remember all the commands of the Lord, that you may obey them and not prostitute yourselves by chasing after the lust of your own hearts and your eyes. Then you will remember to obey all my commands and be consecrated and will be consecrated to your God. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord your God. So if you've ever seen Jews walking around, uh, particularly Orthodox Jews, and you'll notice that they, they have a, a lot of different fashion. It's, it's based on, off of the Old Testament and a lot of these instructions. But you'll notice on the corners, they will have hanging down off their shirts or off their robes these long blue tassels. And this is, that's what's coming from this passage right here. So what God's doing is not saying like, hey, tassels are all the rage. Everybody's got to wear them. They're super cool. God is using, once again, an object lesson. I'm super sorry. It's uh, kind of really loud out there. They've got a garbage truck making, making some work. God is using fashion as an object lesson because he knows we forget. This passage illustrates that. It says, I, I know you'll, you'll have to look at these and remember because otherwise... You will forget. People forget what God's done. People forget to follow God. We forget his commandments. Every day, the temptation, sin wants to pull us right away from God, and we can drift farther and farther along. So God knew that he needed something to kind of put in front of the Hebrews to remind them of what God has done for them and what God told them. So one of the ways he does this, not the only way, but one of the ways is through these tassels. Now think about it. Practically, you're wearing a shirt with tassels. What's going to happen? What's going to happen is you're going to feel those tassels whipping against you as you walk. I don't know if you've ever had clothing with like loose string on it. Uh, I My wife wears some of these shirts that have these dangly bits. And I always think that's got to be so annoying because anytime I'm walking around, if uh, I got a hat on, it's got a strap and it's hitting me in the back of the neck or something, it's always kind of reminding me, hey, there's this part that's hanging loose. You know, we don't always like that. But in this case, you know, a tassel kind of hitting their hitting their uh, hip or their leg or their arms as they're going along might be a little bit annoying, but it also is like a constant reminder, I am God, I am God, I am God. Remember me, remember me, remember me. And so God says, I, I need you to have this object lesson in place to help you to be an aid to your accountability so that you will follow me and not fall away. And he compares two visual things, the tassels and the lust of your own hearts and your eyes, the things that, the sinful things that you want in the world that you think you need. Because we're very visual people. Uh, we want, you know, we, we see things and we desire them. We see, we see and are tempted by them. That's why commercials work so very well in advertisements. So God is giving us an alternative to that. So how do we take this into uh, living in a New Testament church? Because obviously this is part of the ceremonial law. We are not required as Christians to obey this passage and wear tassels. If you want to wear tassels, knock yourself out. It's not going to bother me one bit. But you are not commanded to do that. But there's underlying this is the same principle that we can take into our Christian lives, which is, we need help, we need accountability, and we need reminders to keep God always in front of us so that we will not stray. So what could those reminders be? What could those objects of, of visual focus be for our lives? Well, it could be a lot of things. It could be putting your Bible right next to your nightstand so it's one of the very first things you see in the morning. 
or you could even, you know, take a, be bold, take a Bible around with you uh, all day long. I mean, we take our cell phones with us, have a small Bible, always have it right there in your pocket. So anytime your hand goes in your pocket, uh, it could be a wristband. I've seen some people do that. Of course, we remember the very popular, what would Jesus do wristbands? And we may mock them for good reason sometimes, but they kind of really worked, didn't they? Because people really did wear them. And they wouldn't get so used to them that they ignore them. Instead, they'd always be constantly re visually reminded, I need to be more like Jesus. I need to follow the things of God. Um, the other thing I just want to briefly mention with the tassels is that they were a way to visually differentiate God's people, God's holy people, from the rest of the world. It was like a uniform code. So you go to a particular school with a dress code. Everybody knows you're part of that school because you're wearing that school's dress code. For the Hebrews, you would knew, know that it's a Jew because they would have the tassels hanging off of them. For Christians, it's not as obvious. Maybe, you know, for some people, it would have a little cross around your neck, although there's a lot of non-Christians who wear crosses around their neck. But what I, I just want to pre present this to you for food for thought. What differentiates you in the eyes of the world to make somebody look at you and say, that person's a Christian? I think it needs to be a lot farther down, deeper than just the attire you're wearing. I can, you can wear a shirt that has some sort of Christian slogan on it, uh, no judgment here, but the authentic, authenticity of your faith needs to be a lot deeper than your fashion. It needs to go all the way down. So in the Old Testament, remember, God's starting to teach these lessons, but really carries them through to, and fulfills them in the New Testament teachings. And that's why... For us, it's not just on the surface. It's got to go all the way down. So tassels, holiness set apart, and reminders of what who God is and what he has done for us. So these two things have applications in our lives today, that we need to have things that remind us constantly of God. Uh, have other Christians in your life that are always praising God in your presence. That's a great reminder. That's something that's always before you. So many times I... I've gone a whole day without praying, and then I hear somebody praying, and I go, ah, you know, there's my visual reminder. I need to pray. So anyways, number 15, there you go. That's my snapshot for the Bible today. Go with God. Uh, go do the best you can for his glory. And remember, he loves you intensely, and that's why he died for you. God bless.